Hi guys, this video is about how to start running. Uh, I'll share with you some basic recommendations. We'll go through the problem that you may face at the beginning and I'll help you to start running and enjoying this great sport. First of all, ask yourself, why do you want to start running? What's your goal? Whether it's for loss weight or strength building or just for fun. Uh, as a runner myself, I know how much of a positive impact it can have on your life. Uh, running is the easiest sport that I can do. That means that I need just put my shoes on and go for a run. Running is a fantastic way to keep your body and mind healthy. The only thing you need is a good pair of running shoes. I personally prefer Nike, but there are plenty of other uh, running brands out there like Asics, Sakani, Mizuna or New Balance. Just buy one model for long distance running. Uh, as what to wear, uh, don't worry too much about it at the beginning. Uh, you can wear anything you feel comfortable in. Uh, later, of course, you will buy a t-shirt, a jacket, shorts, specifically for running, but it's not so important for the start. Let me show you how I dress for different weather. I usually dress about 10 degrees less than it is. If the temperature is more than 10 degrees, I can easily run in a t-shirt and shorts. If it gets colder, then I put on a long sleeve. Then I put on tights and over them I can also put on shorts. If the temperature is less than zero, then I started to put on a jacket, gloves and a warmer bandage. Whoa, I completely forgot that you can also put on a buff and a hat, it will be much warmer with them. Different layers are really important for running. And please focus not only on the temperature, but also on the wind, rain, it is colder with them. Plus, you have your own preferences. Someone tolerates the cold well and someone does not. Just keep it in mind. And in this video, I'll not describe really low temperatures, for example, minus 20, uh, because there are some specifics, so let's just keep it for now. Now, let's talk about your first run. For the first time, you can run for about 5 or 10 minutes at a comfortable pace. And the comfortable pace means that you can talk while you're running. If you cannot, then slow down a bit. And in your next run, you can slightly increase your running time from 5 to 7, from 10 to 12 minutes and so on. You don't have to run every day. Uh, let's start from 2 or 3 times per week. Uh, and if it's too hard for you, okay, start from 1 time per week. Running is a physical activity and it's absolutely normal that it's hard. It takes time to build up endurance. Let's say in 2-3 weeks you can download a running app for your phone or smartwatch. For example, I use Strava and Nike Running Club. These apps uh, offer various training programs that can help you to achieve your running goals, whether it's your first 5 km, 10 km or even a marathon. Uh, it's like a fun game where you need to um, complete various running tasks and gain achievements along the way. And if you are looking for some extra motivation, why not to join a local uh, running club in your city? Uh, running with a group is a great way to stay accountable and make new friends along the way. That's it. I hope these tips help you get started your running journey. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. All useful information, links, uh, time codes I put in the description of this video. Remember, take it one step at a time and don't forget to uh, have fun about, along this way. Good luck and I'll see you out there on the road. Bye bye.